Hi and welcome to the series of tutorials about air fashion, how we can present our clothes as argument reality garments and how we can implement both ideas with it. Today we are going to try amazing and crazy AI tool by Luma Genie that generates the objects from text. You write a prompt what you are going to generate and bam, in a second you got your 3D objects with texture. For this session, we'll be using uh, Genie for generating the object uh, Blender to make some corrections and uh, Snapchat Lens Studio to turn our 3D creation into AR. Let's get started. Let's start with Luma new 3D AI generation tool Genie. It's like mid journey, but for 3D. Write a prompt and choose a model from the variations for refining the selected variant. When the object is generated, you open a preview mode, where you can see in detail how the object looks. Change color, material and download. What we are going to do now? We'll download and go to the Blender to touch up the true model. Delete the default object and import your generated shoes. I decided to make a flower part on Converse, it looks more fancy. You can skip the retouching process and use shoes as they are. But I want to show how to clean up the textures and to delete some unwanted parts so that their shoes look nicer. Keep in mind that in Snapchat Lens Studio you have a limitation in lens size, only 8 MB. So if your object is heavy, you can reduce the polygons of the model. I use the Sparker Toolkit. It's an add-on for Blender. It's convenient to see the number of polygons and change it. You can download this add-on on MetaSpark AR website in the Learn section. Just search add-on or plugin and you'll find where to download and how to install it. Now I'm going to polish model mesh. Go to Sculpt mode and choose Elastic Deform Brush or Smooth Brush if it doesn't deform the texture. It's better to correct the object with a texture preview to see that during the sculpting texture doesn't break. I finished the correct form of the model and now I'm going to delete some mesh parts to make the shoes look more realistic. But if you want, you can leave it like this, in the air it's not so noticeable. Looks good to me, it's time to correct the texture. Choose Texture Paint mode and select Image Zero, is it the texture of the shoes? and start to draw on the texture or correct it with the clone tool. It feels like I'm working in Photoshop. For sure I need to use a tablet for better drawing. The whole process is quite easy and for me it's fun. I hope you'll find it inspiring too.
I've made all the corrections and the shoes are ready to be exported. If you have both shoes like me, you can separate them in edit mode, choose X-ray options to select all vertices and separate by selection. So you can get left and right shoe. Export both of them or only one, you can use one. Let's switch to Snapchat Land Studio. Open template footwear try-on and import shoes 3D models. You can import one shoe or both as you want. If you choose both, they may be slightly different, so it looks more natural. Place your shoes in the scene and adjust size, position and rotation. And repeat the same process on the other side. So if you use one shoe, you can just duplicate a left shoe or right shoe and in scale Z axis at minus. Send the effect to Snapchat to test how it looks. This is what I've got. I went a bit further and added some de-animated flowers and bubbles. And that's it! It's so simple! With Luma AI Tool Genie, you can create fast and almost anything you want. Of course, it's not perfect, but I showed you techniques on how to correct some defects. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked this tutorial. Like, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye!